Welcome, folks, to Shadow Trinity, Episode 3. I am your host, Justin, and we'll be here this week with PAX again. We are going to discuss with you what has recently been going on with Guild Wars 2, as this past week they had a Sura week. They had a whole bunch of information for us, and we're going to go through it and dedicate this entire show to the Asuras, the little guys with the big brains. But first, let's begin. Um, Pax, what have you been doing in the past... Uh, we haven't had a show for, I think, for two weeks or more. So what have you been up to in the past two weeks? <laughs> a lot of college work, and uh, I've been playing League of Legends for gaming outside. Um, and also, I've been playing a lot of Crimecraft, too. I think I mentioned in the last video I was playing it, but really fun games. Yeah, I've, uh, I've been doing basically League of Legends and teaching stuff, and coaching cross country at the same time so I've got a lot on my plate as well but I've been playing a lot of League of Legends more than I thought I would two years ago uh, and getting into it as well as Bloodline Champions got a um, update this week and they've merged their servers and they've got a lot of things that's similar to League of Legends now so it looks like it's going to start off big so I'm um, begin playing it a lot more too Good deal. but um yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. I, we had a Sura week this week, and these little guys, people are interested in. They, to me, they look like the little um, house elves from Harry Potter, when you look at them a little bit, a little Dobby or something. But um, what we started off with this week was on Monday, Matt Barrett posted on a Sura design and how he originally designed these characters. And what we originally started off with, he saw, is the scrawny, creepy, golem-like, gnomey-like creatures, is what he said, with pointy red hats, arcane mutterings, and pale skin. Um, from my understanding, they were supposed to they essentially look like ugly little rats. <laughs> his, quotes were, his, his, his quotes in his article, They were to be mischievous, dwelling on the fringes of society, scavenging mysterious artifacts of their advanced neighbors. So it sounds like the original design of this was for them to actually be um, not smart. Yeah, it sounds, I think they intended yeah. them to be a major part in the Guild Wars lore. So when they first created them, <laughs> you know, I just don't know what they were thinking, but you can actually notice they have a spork and two spoons as his like, pendant. Yeah, he said in his post, um, his friend, he put, put his first picture up there. I've got him up here on the stream. I mean, he is like a, an ugly combination of E.T. house elves and rats put together. Um, and being fascinated by the advanced technology of forks and spoons. And a sporker, I guess, is what that one is. Not even an actual fork. So, um, and that's what they called a medallion, a trinket or something. Um, <laughs> I mean... What was your reaction when you saw the, that first picture? Well, knowing what Azuras look like now, uh, I was kind of shocked. I mean, they feel like more of a scavenger, like a rat type uh, personality to me than what they really stand for today. <laughs> just the total opposite of that. It was almost like they had um, planned on him being, them just being something minor. I don't even know if they had even planned on them being in a race in the beginning. Um, they released information. We see the we meet the Asura actually in Guild Wars series in Eye of the North uh, for the first time, and it says, and so I guess it's where they first came up with the concept of them. And I don't think they plan on them having a big part. And it looks like things changed, and you can start seeing his transformation when he goes into the um, second drawing of the Asura there, um, trying to make him a little bit more cuter, a bit scrawnier, more smaller looking. Um, creatures and the second Asura definitely looks a lot better than that first one. The first one I would think is just a mob out in the world you come across. Yeah. I mean. And uh, and the second one, Matt Barrett, the creator of the, the design, said um, even then the second one looked. Uh, it, or here's what he said exactly, but in quotes. But it's uh, really pretty creepy. It's got an alien look, but it's not even slightly cute, or or nor does it suggest anything resembling ambition. So. From like his perspective, I can see that, but I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but he kind of looks a little bit cute. You know those little Siamese cats? 
<laughs> not the most attractive things in the world, but that's what I get from that. You know, it's not too horribly ugly. You know, it does look kind of a little bit cute, but at the same time, I feel like if you look at that thing la long enough, it's like the naked mole rat. <laughs> Where at first you think it's cute, and then after a while you're just like, wow, that thing is disgusting. Put something on it. Cover it up, please. I guess the longer you stare at it, it does have that effect. Now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and he put down in there, he said, he, he strictly said, you don't want to call the Asura cute unless you want to see how hard that golem can clamp your throat while a mad genius gremlin hisses insults into your eyes from between pointed reptilian teeth. So he came up with this... When he came up with that wordage, he ended up drawing what looks like is this, um, the third picture that he has here. And it's third, a third of Sir. And, um, definitely I feel like it looks like a much more, um, like, has a kind of cute look to it, much more stronger demeanor to okay. it, giving it a, um, kind of like a, just a bad look. Like, it's awesome, like, this awesome character look. Not a bad looking bad, but, um, but, it's just a lot better. Something that I think players could enjoy playing. Um, do you, which, I mean, out of those three drawings, which one do you prefer? The first, second, or um, third design? Uh, definitely not the second. And the first one is just not really humanoid enough. Like, it's very humanoid, but it's still kind of monstrous. So I think the third one was a balance between all of that. It just, it looks kind of human, actually has hair. This one's, like, wearing, you know, more clothes. And, uh, it definitely seems to be more like friendly than the other ones, but it still has the intelligent look about it, which I think is what they're aiming for. But not exactly friendly, as you know the lore behind them. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and uh, to be honest with you, that first one there, I mean, really does. It looks like a mob you'd come out in the world to fight, and that's about it. It's one of those mobs that you'd go out there and go out and kill on purpose. The second one, to me, looks like you would run into as an NPC in some kind of village or something like that, or some um, per like a beggar. It's like a little okay. beggar out there or something. <laughs> and then you got the uh, third one, which looks more like the uh, character race, I guess you can say is what we'd put it. And he did say that he actually came up with that final drawing, just randomly popped out one morning. It was the first thing he drew that morning, came up with it, and that's what uh, became the final concept art uh, for the Asura. So um, he also they also provided for us a little bit um, a little video of him doing the drawing. That's so, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill out some of the and we uh, some of the mass. So let's mute him. So he goes through. He just goes through the video. If you want to visit on the site, um, he goes through the video of him drawing it and coloring it in and going through the process of one of them. And he talks about their features and how you didn't want to do too much of one thing or too much of another in order to um, take the attention away from it. Um, it's, I mean, it's amazing to watch this. You don't see too many games actually go out there and show us them actually in their drawing process. They just throw pictures at us and go, here you go, pretty picture, take a look and move on. Um, so I thought it was actually unique that they decided to draw this for us and also getting that final um, concept picture up there. That, no, not final concept, the final drawing of what he had done. Um, I mean, what do you think of that? What do you think of, did you see that one that he drew? Yeah, the final product. Or not, not the third, sorry, the one he drew on the, the de where he demonstrated to us using Photoshop and drawing one. Right, yeah. Um, I mean, that kind of, I mean, it's very similar to the third one, so, you know, it's a different type of Azura, or a different unique Azura as any person would be, but I think it came out pretty well, and honestly, most best things uh, that come out, come out of nowhere, so he just woke up, drew it, and finally had, like, exactly what he wanted. <laughs> yeah, this one, this little story right here, I think looks kind of like the sneaky thief one, or the um, I'm going around, big guy, I'm going to assassinate you from behind, and you're not paying attention. <laughs> He's got like a white jacket on or something. <laughs> All right. So, um, well, I mean, that, that was Monday. So we moved into um, Tuesday, which was actually a um, story, and what it did instead of talking about concept art, they talked about the concept story. And that's what they did on Tuesday for us, giving us this concept story feeling that they got through it. And, um, I mean, that's definitely one thing we don't hear. They had talked about how they originally sat down, wrote multiple stories for um, each of the races in order to gain a better understanding of the type of character they were 
going to be designing. I mean, to get the baked database story. And they said most of them they scrapped, but the Asura story is actually something that they kept and is still relevant up to this day, except for a simple um, name change. So, and they wrote these to explore the Guild Wars 2 characters in their lives, which I think is an interesting thing. Uh, most people don't think about how they come up with those stories. And it did. I mean, up here I got some pictures. Um, did you get to re did you get a chance to read that story that they wrote, Mr. Sparkles, A Tale of the Asura? I did. I read the entire thing. <laughs> what did you think of Mr. Sparkles? Oh, I thought it was funny how it got named. Um, <laughs> we'll post it up, but I guess it won't be a huge spoiler, but basically he has his assistant, and um, he says in a moment of weakness he allowed his assistant to name it, and so he named it Mr. Sparkles, and he wasn't sure if it was in, like, spite almost, or if he's just really naive. Yeah, and uh, his assistant being a Savari, who have only been around for about 25 years or something like that, I believe, is what the, um, it's where the Guild Wars 2 story starts. Um, but it looks like the one character I have here on the right-hand side, um, this big, kind of like giant-type character with this messed-up jaw humanoid-type character is um, actually, I guess, going to be something we'll run across as a enemy in the Guild Wars 2 um, story, so I'm, Maybe he'll be raping one of the villages or something. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> or pill pillaging, anyways, yeah. <laughs> pillaging one of the villages, setting it on fire or caravan or something, and we gotta fight it. Um, they look pretty mean, though. Yeah, definitely, they look very tall. <laughs> <laughs> but we got a cool concept art, though. I, I guess it's concept art of the drawing for their uh, for your golems that you can be able to carry around with, have with you. Smaller sir, big golem. I guess you could say. And some of the videos I've seen, the the uh, golem actually appear to be smaller than the story draws them to be, in my opinion. Like there may be double or a little bit more than Azura's size. So I'm not exactly sure how tall the Azuras are gonna be, but based on that, they look uh, relatively small because it says in the story that the golem was as big as the uh, uh, I don't know, excuse me, the Jotuns, which are the half giants. And, I don't know, maybe the Jotuns will be that taller. Maybe the Asuras will actually be a little bit taller than I anticipate they're going to be. Maybe there's different size ones, depending upon how strong of a golem you created. I, mm. Who knows? <laughs> but there wasn't much more on um, that. It just gave you a little story, go through and read it. Um, interesting, funny story. Um, and you kind of get the idea of how the Asura thinks and reacts to situations. Um after that, they had their next thing they released for us was Ambition on a Grand Scale, which brings us back to Matt Baird again as he talks about the Asura Environmental Art. And the Asura Environmental Art, what they said is the, this huge thing. It's our designs for Asuran architecture draw heavily from ancient Hindu temples, massive stone columns, intricate, masterful carvings, and a sense of being inside of a mountain. Um, so basically, massive, I think, is the um, key word that we are getting here. <laughs> I think so, too. <laughs> uh, uh, so. There are some pictures. We should, we should also put these uh, links, by the way, of the articles in our video description. Yeah. So people can see them afterwards. So, I mean, so he showed us... I mean, they showed us a couple pictures of it, talked about it, and the in, their thought is that um, Asura's... Asura, Asura's do not like to waste, um, or don't like to not innovate. Like, if, if they build something, they build something with a purpose. And they've got these carvings and these intricate symbols drawn into their their stone, and they almost talk as if the stone is a living thing to them, as if they have found a way to um, bring it into bring it to life in some manner, as if every single bit of design that they do has its intricate purpose to it in order to make them more advanced, in order to show their advance. And what he has here in his first picture, what he showed us, was basically like several designs of just concept designs for him of trying to come up with ideas. And he would, um, he even went down to like, this picture right here is a little black and white picture that he showed us. 